Hey guys, thanks for clicking on this video. Today I'm on my way out to Red Granite Quarry. Red Granite Quarry is somewhat situated in central Wisconsin and uh, it's probably one of my old go-to spots for scuba diving. It's within an hour and a half from my house and it's a relatively decent place to dive. Uh, there's easy access. It's at max about 115 feet deep, but there's a lot of stuff in there to look at. Uh, there's several boats, lawn art that we have put in there, jet ski, there's a couple snowmobiles. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get you a good tour of it. Uh, it all depends on the visibility. Visibility is usually three feet, maybe a little more. Um, it can be as bad as a foot or two. Uh, I'm hoping because it's mid-May, we're gonna get some decent visibility because I've seen it as high as 15 feet. So not the grace of visibility, but we'll take what we can. I'm going to take a moment to do a little bird's eye tour of the quarry. Feel free to jump ahead to this time in the video to skip this bird's eye tour. North is up in this image and there are two areas divers usually use to enter the water. The left or west side often referred to as the post office side and the right or east side sometimes referred to as the pickle factory side because of the once functioning pickle factory just to the south. The post office side has easy access to this yellow area. This area gets about 32 feet deep until the drop off to 80 feet on its northeast side. The green area is a little deeper. It drops down to about 50 feet. There's a drop off on the north side that drops down to about 80 feet. The blue area gets to about 30 to 40 feet deep. There's a drop off on the southwest side that drops down to about 70 to 80 feet deep. The remnants of an old wooden stairs is at the bottom of this drop off. The red area is the area I'll be doing most of my underwater tour because it has more interesting things to look at. In this area we'll find boats, snowmobiles, a jet ski, and several lawn sculptures. Like the other sections, there is a drop off on the far northwest side of this area. But within this area there are several steps taking it from 20 feet down to 60 feet. The remaining area of the quarry is a deep area. I've heard the quarry is deeper than 200 feet deep. I had talked with Dave, who is now retired from the Red Granite Police Department. Dave mentioned they had brought in a Navy diver to recover a body, and the diver reported the body was brought up from 210 feet. I checked my logbook and I've made 120 dives in Red Granite Quarry. I've done several dives in this deep area. I've ran search patterns and dove where people thought the deep area was. I covered a large percentage of this area and I've never found anything deeper than 114 feet deep. At this point, it may be possible there is a deeper area, but I'm kind of doubting there is a section that is another 100 feet deeper than what I've found so far. If anyone has been out in an area of the quarry that is deeper than 150 feet, I'd be happy to go in with them on a dive to check it out. Just before submerging, I set my compass to 45 degrees. This will take me on a northeast heading that should allow me to run into the gnomes or at least one of the boats.
Hey, thanks for checking out the video. Uh, it was a good dive, over an hour underwater. Ended up uh, not finding anything really of value. Found a few spots where I know I can go back and get a whole lot of garbage later. And uh, I think the big highlight was probably coming up at the end where I got to see the fish. So hopefully that videotape uh, and uh, you're able to check it out. So thanks, take care.